Okay, guys, welcome once more to Eurus Empire. And uh, this video is as a result of the question somebody asked me some time ago in one of my videos. What do we do with our left hand when we play? Um, it is very, very beginner to play like this. Some of us, this is what we do. This for me, this is even uh, when I play like this, I feel like burying my head in shame. So it doesn't make any sense. Uh, what, what you can do as a beginner that will be a little bit accepted is using playing in octaves. What is octave? The distance between two, uh, two keys of the same letter name right the distance between two keys of the same letter name that is not even impro important right now all really matters is that okay if you are talking about octave like the key of f for instance from f to f that's an octave okay this is another octave this is another octave forget about the technical names so uh what you can do as a beginner is to play in octave like Maybe this can be a little bit accepted but another way you can play that will be more accepted is the octave and the fifth like this so but even when you play like this, there are some situations that will require you to add some rhythm to your playing, especially when you play alone, when you don't have other instruments covering up the rhythmic parts of the music. So there is a need for you to make things sound interesting. And that is what I was doing at the beginning of this video. Okay, that is the introduction of Apegio. So what was I doing? I am still doing the octave and the fifth. But after the octave, in this time, I am picking them one note after the other. I am picking it one note after the other. I am not playing it in form of block, as a block chord. I pick them one after the other, and that is what I paid you is. Right? So... After picking your octave, like, you need to move. Where am I moving to? I am still moving to the chord. Remember the chord of chord one is like this. That is triad. And if you are using octave, it is like this. So after exhausting your octave, move to the third and the fifth of the chord. That is what you are doing. What you are basically doing here is octave and fifth, then the chord, triad chord. Octave and fifth, then triad chord, like. Right? Which is under one, two, three, four. Okay? So this can apply to any of the chords as long as you have enough space to count four in your plane. Like I just showed us, when you do, it is one, two, three, four. That is what you just did. But there are some songs that doesn't allow space like that, that you can count four beats. You can just do... Okay, just 